Hi, my name is Rafael and I'm a solutions architect at IPEM and today I'm going to demo a little bit of our platform which is a layout builder solution and the whole purpose of this platform is to build a true WYSIWYG interface for content editors where they can create dynamic and responsive pages. So to start off this is a component based platform meaning we have a set of components that can be used and combined inside one single page and of course the platform is based on Drupal 8 where we have um, a set of contrib modules playing with our custom code. Let's start by creating a new page and we're gonna start with a blank page so we can see the true capabilities of the platform. When you create a new page Drupal gives you this white canvas um, where you can start adding your components. Well, let's start adding a layout and what it means is that you're telling Drupal how your components are going to be distributed inside this row. So I'm going to select columns equal and that means that I can have up to six components inside my row and they're going to be distributed equally inside this row. And when we select that, we can start playing with our components. So I'm going to start with a simple image. And I can select up to three images here per device. So one image is going to suit all the devices, two images, desktop and tablet, the first one, the second one for mobile, and three images, one image per device. So I'm going to select this sunset and I'll save it. And when I do that, I can see my first image. But this image is too plain and I want to interact with it. I want, I want to have an effect when I hover over the image. So I'm going to edit and then we're going to start playing with our concept of modifiers. Modifier is anything that you can add to your component that will change or modify the behavior of it. So I'm going to start with this image effects modifier and let's say that I want to scale this image when I hover over it. So when I save it and I hover over it, I can see my image scaling. But as you can see, this is impacting other elements on the page. So I want to fix that. And then I'm going to add another modifier called container modifier. And this modifier allows me to play with the container that is containing the image. So I'm just saying that the overflow of this container is hidden. When I do that, I still have my effects, but when I'm hovering over it, it's scaling inside its own container. So let's add a new component here and let's go with the text. And I'm saying this is a heading and this is a simple paragraph. So I'm going to transform this text to a heading. I want to have an H3 and I'm going to change the color to brown and I'll save it. Beautiful! I have a heading and I have a text but this text is too close together to this image and I I want to give some space so this text can breathe properly. So I'm going to edit this rich text. And I'm going to add this modifier and I'll add this padding modifier. And I'm going to say that I want to have two REM on the left side of my component. And there we go. We have a component with a proper spacing. So let's add a row below. And let's start working with composed components. What is a composed component? In this case, we have a simple component, which is just an image. And in this case, we had a simple component, which is just a text. But what if I want to combine those? What if I want to create a component that contains a text and an image, like a hero, for example? There's a couple ways that you can do this in this platform, but one of the ways is using a component that we have called text over media. So with the text over media, 
you have a combination of two components and some configurations specific for this component. I want to say that the vertical alignment of my text is going to be in the middle. I will add an image which will be this purple sky and I want to add this is a hero. I'm going to increase this font size to 48. I'll change the color to this light gray and I'll save it. And there we go, we have our hero, but still our text is not centered. I want to center this text. And what is happening here is that we have this text over media component. And as I mentioned before, we have a concept of composed component. And what that means is that I'm, give, I'm having the governance over the individual components inside my composed components. So I can just come here and edit my hero text and I'll center it. And that's it. And then I can do the same thing with the image. Let's say I want to add this image modifier. And when I hover, I want 70% of sepia. And then you can see the effect. I hover over it and I have my effect only applied to the image. All right, my next concept here is reusable paragraphs. Because what's the point of creating a lot of sites or one site with a functionality that is going to repeat all the time? And what's the point of creating this component all the time, right? So we have a concept of libraries here. So you can actually save to the library and this component is gonna be available. Uh, so you can actually play with it, use the same component, or just replace the image if you want just the same behavior and a different content. So let's add a new component here. And I'm just gonna, instead of adding the same row, just gonna add a new row. So you can actually see the component in its single row. Let's add a layout. And then let's pick from library. And then we have this reusable paragraph. And let's start with a, a carousel, for example. So you have a carousel. And when you save it, you can see the whole carousel populated with the whole configuration and everything is working fine. And of course, you can edit the individuals of this carousel if you want to change the image, for example. Uh, our some of our components are flexible enough um, to behave as you wish. So for example, we have, let's add a new row so you can see this component plane. And let's add a new layout. And let's work with the image gallery. So we select this image gallery and we save. As, as you can see, you have your whole gallery here. And then what it's there is a configuration on this um, on this image gallery. If I edit, I can show you. And we can say that it's going to become a carousel on mobile. I don't want to see a super tiny um, image gallery, but maybe I want to see the images stacking instead of a carousel. So I uncheck this, and all the images in the, in the gallery are, are going to be stacking. But in this case, we have carousel on mobile, so I'm just going to resize here. And as we can see, we have our carousel on mobile. And that is the part of the power that this platform can provide you. We have a bunch of components here that can be selected. So if you want to play with like and dislike, for example, you can create a views of articles, a list of articles, and you can have this like and dislike functionality. Uh, a light box, you want to open your um, content on a model, you can do that. Um, a video, you want to have a docked video. So the user is scrolling the page and 
the video is still playing, they can still see the video on wherever they, they select on the page here. Um, and then you can have universal embed, which, which allows you to embed iframes or just scripts. So you can have a chat working, a chatbot working on your, on your site. Um, that's basically it. Um, just send me a message if you have any questions and um, hopefully you enjoyed this demo.